Well, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, hashtag Wilma's Kitchen. I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe, like, and share this video. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Well, I have a very, very, very simple recipe. Like I told you guys, I'm bringing you guys very simple recipes. If you hear the music in the background, I do not own the rights to the music, okay? Well, let's get started. Um, hey, Patricia. Um, first thing is first, let's, what do we always do in our kitchen? Wash your hands in your kitchen. Okay, you guys, I am working these cameras. <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? So just get your hands washed all up. I'm not going to take a lot of you guys' time. I know, uh, like I say, the holidays is here. You know, uh, people got a lot of things to do, okay? Now, what I am going to be doing tonight, hey, Patricia, thanks for joining. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, what I'm going to be doing tonight is very, very simple. It's not going to take that long. I am going to be making, like, like sort of a little appetizer. You know, you can put it out, you know, during Christmas or whenever. But I'm making a cheesy garlic French brie, okay? On one side, I am going to be putting jalapenos because everybody knows I like it hot, okay? Now, I went to my little neighborhood store, it, I went to Sprouts, and I just got the baguette, just take and bake, and this is actually the French bread, you can, you, the French bread, you can also get Italian, what, whichever you want, okay? Now, these are the ingredients, I'm just going to bring this out, okay, YouTube, I'm going to turn you around, okay. But the ingredients that I am going to be using, all you need on this, you're going to need <clears throat> some. Let me take the garlic out the oven first, okay? Now, I went on and baked the garlic because, there we go. I went on and baked the garlic because it actually takes 30 minutes to bake your garlic. I will show you it's hot right now very hot but this is what you do this is your garlic okay this is the garlic now I did three bugs because I'm gonna um, put some in my refrigerator okay now what you actually do is you cut the top off of your garlic bug the whole bug the whole bug that is hot Okay, you sprinkle some olive oil, you use some culture, coarse sea salt, okay, you use some black pepper, okay, now, and you put that in the oven, and you cook that like 375 for about 30 minutes, okay, I'm going to let this cool off for a minute, now, what you need to do is get you a stick of butter, Make sure it is soft. Do not put it in your microwave, guys. You don't want it separated like that. Get you a stick of butter. I'm just going to stick it in here. Okay? Now, what I am going to do, I bought... Thank you, Jennifer Collins, for joining. Tanya, thank you for joining. I appreciate that. Sarah, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm just trying to get through this. Now, this, I, this is Italian parsley. You can use regular parsley, the curly, but I wanted to use the Italian. So what you're going to do, I've already washed it off. You can see that little water. Take your, take your parsley and just kind of rough chop it because you're, Fold it over, which is what I have. I do mine. I fold it, twist it around, and I just just chop it like this. Okay, okay. 
Now I got some small bag X. Now you can get the. Now they had some on sale at Sprouts for like a, uh, like a dollar ninety-eight. But I want. It was not Italian or French. So you just chop your parsley like this. Okay. Pretty, pretty well fine. Do it the way you want to, actually, because you're the one that's going to be eating it. Okay? So, just take that. Take your little parsley there. Now, that's good enough right there. Okay. Now, you got your parsley all fine cut. If some is bigger than the other one, it don't make any difference, you guys. It's going in your stomach just like it's going in mine. Okay, now, what you're going to do now is take one of these bulbs of garlic, okay? And just squeeze. Let me see if I can move that up so you guys can see a little bit more. Just squeeze that garlic out of there. You see how I'm squeezing the garlic out? It is hot though. See how I'm squeezing that garlic is coming out of there? That's how you want it. Just squeeze it out of there. It'll come out after you bake it just like that. Woo, it's hot, y'all. But that's what we cooks do, guys. <laughs> okay. Now, see how that garlic came out of there? That bug just came out very easy. Take you some of your parsley. Put some parsley in there. Okay. Put as much as you want, less as you want. I'm going to put a lot of Italian parsley in mine. Okay. Now. Now what you're going to do. Is I got some olive oil over here. Put a little olive oil. I'm just using the light tasting olive oil. You can use whatever kind you want, but I suggest olive oil. Just put a little bit of that in there. Okay. Okay. Put a little bit of your coarse salt, coarse sea salt. Put a little bit of that in there. Okay, put a little bit of pepper, there you go. Now, okay, take your fork, take your fork, just mash that all up together, the garlic, the garlic, the butter, the, uh, I got, like I said, the Italian parsley. That You're going to see how that garlic is going to smash all up in this butter. I think what I am going to do, you can add, it just depends how much garlic you like. But I use the whole stick of butter. Okay. Just keep mashing that garlic, guys. See that? Now, I saw it sprouts. They did have garlic butter beside the baguettes as well. But I was like, you know what? I can make my own. So. Just mash it. Keep mashing it up. You want your garlic mashed up inside your butter. Okay, there you go. Doesn't that look good, guys? Look at that butter. That is garlic butter. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my parsley in there. Okay. Yes. Just keep mashing. Make sure... Make sure that your garlic is mashed all up in the butter as well. That's Adele. I love that song. So how are you? Hi, Michael Dowdy. Thank you so much for joining. We're having some cheesy garlic. 
bread. Okay? Now, I got mine all the way pretty much. This is your garlic butter. This is how you make garlic butter. Okay. Now, cheesy. Now, I am going to go ahead and open up. Like I say, get yours at your neighborhood store. You can get whatever whatever kind you choose that you like, okay? Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to cut it. Just cut it open. I use the knife sharpener, too. This knife is pretty sharp, y'all. So I <laughs> okay. Now. I'm going to stick this right here so you guys can see it. I'm going to cut it all the way open. Okay? Okay? Very simple. Cut it all the way open in two pieces. Now, I am going to turn these phones around. Bear with me so you guys, you guys can see me over here so I can have more room. Okay. Hi. This is a lot better. Now, what we are going to do now, you take your garlic butter. Let me see if I can move it up. You guys can see me. I don't want to. All right. Let's move this one up. I don't want another one of them to fall. Let me turn this around, Facebook. Okay. I'm trying to get it together, y'all, so you guys can see. Okay. Now. You got your two pieces, right? Go ahead, spread your garlic butter over there. Let me show you how good this looks. Just spread it over that bread. It looks so good, guys. And, that, and the garlic, it smells amazing. Okay? Just spread it. How is everybody doing? My bad, y'all ready? Getting re about ready for the holiday? Okay, like I said, I use the small ones. Now, I'm gonna show you. Look at that. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I am going to use, I'm gonna put a little parmesan cheese on it first. I'm going to put a little Parmesan cheese. Now, like I said, use whatever type of cheese you like. Okay? So, I'm going to use that first. Then, I'm going to put, I'm using mozzarella. I'm going to do it with my knife. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. I got some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put some of that on there. Like I said, put as much as you like, less as you like. I'm a cheese lover. Now, what I am going to do on one of them, because I like jalapenos. So, I'm going to put jalapenos on one of these. I'm going to just slice it. Like I said, you, you can use jalapenos. You don't have to. I'm going to put one uh, jalapenos just on one. Because if you're having a party or something, everybody don't like, you know, you have to make sure you're cooking for everybody. Now, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of cheddar cheese on the top. On the top. Cheesy, garlic, bread, baguettes, whatever you want to call them, okay? That is cheesy garlic bread. Just put it all over there. I'm going to show you guys here. It don't make a difference if it falls on the side. You cook it just the way you want to cook it. That's the way I like mine, okay? Now, my oven is on. 
So what you need to do, okay, that oven's on 400. That's all it is to it, guys. This is cheesy garlic bread. That's all it is to it. Stick it in the oven on 400, okay? Now, once again, I'm going to show you guys. Mm. This is your garlic butt. Now, I'm going to make, make this up and keep it in my fridge. But it takes about 30 minutes. You can put on 375 to 400. Like I said, put your olive oil. Put you some, uh, some salt. Cut the top off. <coughs> Excuse me. Take that one layer of skin off, but leave the other one on. So when you squeeze it, it just comes out just like that. Look at that. See how that garlic just comes out like that? That's how you want it, just to come out just like that. Okay. At this point, do what I always say. Y'all grab y'all some water, some tea, milk, Kool-Aid, eggnog. It's the holidays. Get you some eggnog. If, if, get you some wine, whatever you want to do. Hey, Cleo, thanks for joining. Appreciate that. Okay. Now, that's just going to take about seven minutes. That's it. So, in the meantime, I'm getting ready to give me a glass of eggnog. How about that? It's the holidays. So, I'm getting ready to open mine up. <laughs> okay. Now, y'all know how I am. I went and bought the whole enchilada. Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. Made with real dairy cream, rum, brandy, and blended whiskey. Woo! Okay. It says it is 14.75% alcohol. So, be careful with it, okay? Drive responsibly if you're going to be out on the road, okay? Now. I am just going to put it in my wine glass. And I had it in the freezer because I like mine real cold, cold. But I am just going to get me some ice and put me a little ice in there because I like, uh, I like a little, I, I like mine extra, extra cold. Okay. All right. Time to pour it up, guys. Can y'all, well, y'all can see my harm. Okay, I, I need to slow it down, huh? Okay. This is a toast to you guys. Bam. Bam for coming on. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, it's got a kick to it, you guys. Hello, Sarah. How are you, sweetie? Mmm. Y'all better go in your kitchen and get you something to drink. I've been drank this glass up before the before the uh, bread even get done. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is really, really good. Now I was I was gonna use this cheese, but I figured with that Parmesan, the mozzarella, and that cheddar cheese, I figured that was enough. But I had just bought this. It was like two eleven at Sprouts, and this is just real raw milk white cheddar cheese. Ain't that a little cute? A little cute little old block for two eleven. But I'm gonna put that back in my fridge. Okay. Why y'all didn't tell me? My earring popped off. Y'all got me all on, uh, it just popped off of there. Why y'all didn't tell me that? Yeah, I mean, it just came off. And I just bought these earrings. Why did that come? Well, well, well. I'll have to fix it later, I guess. That's okay. I got one on. One off. I mean, it just literally, let me see something. Hold on. Ah, uh, let me see. Let me see if 
see if I can fix it. I'm waiting on the bread anyway. Let's see if I can fix fix this earring and get it back on there. Okay, I can do it. Oh, shucky, 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 shucky now. <laughs> I'm so silly, y'all. Now, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I just happened to look down. And the same earring popped off. Why am I that done? Well, mm. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm gonna get this knife again. Okay. Oh, 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 that bread is looking good. It is looking good, guys. So what, what's everybody doing uh, for this weekend? Well, I guess we got to get get to it first, huh? Well, what are y'all's plans for the weekend? They say it's supposed to be real, real windy. We're going to keep, keep uh, Kentucky and all those states up in prayer, guys. Like, say, Oklahoma, we know well too well about tornadoes. So sad, so sad. So many fatalities. Mm. Y'all, I'm sitting up here trying to fix this dead gummy ring. Okay, let's see. If it falls off again, oh well, I'm going to take them back and tell them. Because I just bought them. So if it falls off again, oh, I will take them back. You know. I did pay seven dollars for them. That ain't too bad. Okay, let me move my butter. Where in? What did I do with my? Okay. Let's see. I don't want to miss anybody. Patricia, how's it? How's it going? Hey, you two. Down there in Texas. Now, you guys, uh, thank you, like I said, for tuning in. Tanya, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Um, y'all can y'all can make this. It's, it's very simple. You know, how long how long am I on here for? Uh, let me... I've been running my mouth. 22 minutes. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Now I'm going to turn, put it on broil. It's already, that cheese and that thing is all over there, but you need to use one. I That's why I just use the um, store-bought one so I can just throw it away. You know, I don't want to, I like to do easy stuff. I don't have time to be, well, I do have the time, but, you know, nowadays, I, I don't do all of that. You know, I buy, I just buy store-bought stuff basically at Dollar Tree where I can just use it and throw it in the trash. I ain't got time to clean up all that. Mm. But I do want them crispy. It just depends on how crispy you want it. But it is very good. They're very good. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to pull it out just to show you guys what I'm talking about. I got cheese everywhere. But that is cheesy garlic bread. That's all it is. One's got jalapeno on it. The other one does not. And I'm just gonna, I want mine just a little bit. Let me see something. Okay, yeah, I want them just a little bit browner, the bread. Like I said, I want mine cheesy, cheesy. And then, of course, you when you bring it out, you let it sit for a few minutes and let it uh, cool off before you cut them, okay? So you guys can make this. Mmm. 
That eggnog is good. This is um, Pennsylvania Dutch. That's what that is. I'm going to turn you around Facebook so you can see too. Like I said, this is Pennsylvania Dutch. I'm not going anywhere tonight. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit in the morning there and put this back in the fridge. I'm pretty sure I have another glass before the night. So I will win. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to show you guys what I'm cooking next. Which, when I get off of here, I just picked these up at Walmart. And these uh, Walmart neighborhood store, because I shop at the, my little neighborhood stores, which Walmart neighborhood store is not too far, because I don't live too far from UCI. And I use Sprouts, which is right up the street. But these was on sale because they were they, the date was going out, of course. So when I seen it, yeah, I picked them up and froze them. But they getting ready to get cooked tonight. These are boneless pork ribs. And I am cooking these after I get off of here, which won't be long. So I'll just put those over there because I'm going to season them up and everything. So, mm. Hi, my subscribers, you too. Okay. So, see how simple that was, guys? That was just very, very, very simple. Like I told you guys, I'm just bringing y'all some very simple recipes. You guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it. Facebook, if you guys go over there, YouTube Wilma Riley hyphen Jacobs. Once you put YouTube Wilma Riley Jacobs, you'll see my face. And just hit that subscribe button. You guys share, share, share this video. I would really appreciate it. Who has said something? Hi, Kelly. Kennedy said, hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, Kennedy. Y'all know how I am with my grandbaby. <laughs> hey, Kennedy. Grandma, I love you. <laughs> my grandbaby finally got to see me. All right. Okay, guys. I got cheese everywhere, but that's okay. Now, cheesy garlic bread. Simple, 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 simple. Let me get my knife here. I like real cheese, a lot of cheese on oh man. I'm going to let this cool. Okay. Pull it up. I'm going to show you guys how this garlic bread looks. Y'all can probably see it from there. Okay. Let me get this. There we go. Now. That's the one with my jalapenos on there. Okay. Like I said, I like a lot of cheese on man. So. It looks so good. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Cheesy. One of them has jalapenos on it. Cheesy jalapeno garlic bread. Made, made that. Y'all see me make it now. Okay. And then, let's see. I don't want to keep you guys too long. So, let me see. Supposed to let it cool, but just cut them this way, like that, in triangle size, little sizes like that. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. Oh wow. Mm mm mm. Okay, just a little appetizer, you guys. Okay, I always say my prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you. You're so worthy to be praised. 
Lord Jesus, I'm asking you right now to watch over all the people in all those states, Lord, where those tornadoes came in. Lord, take care of them. Comfort them with your blood, Lord. Let them know that you're still a good God. You're a God all by yourself. Lord Jesus, we can continue to pray for them as they go through this holiday season, Lord. Oklahoma, we know how those tornadoes are. And Lord Jesus, I pray. I want to pray for everybody that's watching, that has tuned in to my channel. Bless them. Bless their homes this holiday season. Keep us safe. And have some happy holidays. And thank you for this food I'm about to receive from nursing my body. For Christ's sake, amen. Okay, you guys. Now, when I will pray, my family and them would always say, okay, well, okay, okay. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, this is the cheesy. Oh, look at that cheese. Uh, this is the one with jalapeno. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Guys, that's good. Mm. The jalapeno got a little pop to it. Mm. This is the one. Woo! Yeah, that jalapeno got a pop to it. Without jalapeno. Mm. Mm. Guys, you guys, y'all have to make this. I just showed y'all. It's very simple. Make you can. You, I can say that if you don't, you can buy. You can buy the garlic butter. I saw these sprouts next to the baguettes. I'm sure they're gonna have it since it's the holidays and everything. Okay, but I just wanna. Thank each and every one of you. I'm going to get off of here. Mm. I appreciate each and every one of you that has tuned into my channel. I love each and every one of you. And this is what I want you to do for me. Always, always love yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Self-love is the best love. And I always know women love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. You guys take care. Thanks again for joining. Peace and love. Hi.